Hi, this is a quick breakdown of a visual effect from an indie JRPG I'm working on. I started with this mesh, which is slightly curved and has a decent amount of subdivision. This is so we could distort the verts in a little bit, but for now all we're doing is just taking the texture on the left as a mask and applying a very bright HDR blue. Post-processing is providing the bloom that you're seeing beyond the edges of the mask. By sampling only a small part of this very long mask, we can get different base shapes to work with. Also, you've probably noticed the mask doesn't have a crisp edge. It was generated this way so that it could be run through a step node to animate the overall thickness of the bolt. I think the key to any good effect is to have lots of knobs to turn, so I added various other properties to give me as much to work with as possible while keyframing. Using the gradient shown, I added horizontal distortion to the verts, exposing properties for animating the intensity, scale, and the panning speed of this distortion. Using the same gradient, I added irregular thickness along the bolt, which once again can be panned, animated, and scaled to produce interesting variations along the length. Lastly, there's a vertical bias control, which uses this other gradient here to push the verts up or down. Satisfied that I had enough controls, it was time to start keyframing. I used several duplicates of the base mesh you've seen so far, animating their material properties to produce the end result. I added some additional geometry here for a plume of smoke, a scorch mark, and a bright dome that's briefly visible on impact. The turquoise glow surrounding the effect is just some textures applied to planes. Since this effect will always be seen from the same angle and on level ground, I can cheat quite a bit here. Last but not least, uh, to sweeten things up a little bit, I added a couple of particle systems for uh, sparks, static, and a little bit of residual smoke. For the final composition, I duplicated this initial effect several times and punctuated the storm with a dome of light and a shock wave during the final strike. Just before you see this, there's an inverted version shown for a couple frames, just to make the blast more jarring and violent. And that about covers it. If you're already a master of visual effects and shaders, I'm sure this is all quite unremarkable. Just masks, panning UVs, and offsetting verts. But if this is new to you, as it was to me not long ago, I hope you enjoyed and maybe picked up a new trick or two.